this castle meeting open. I think we all know what the first order of business should be. <laughs> oh, guys, I know exactly what you're about to say. We have to pick those pigeons from the downstairs loo. The only reason we have pigeons is because of your filthy habits. And there's absolutely no proof that any of that is my fault. Jimmy, you're turning this castle into a total dump. OK, even more of a total dump. But it has to stop. Yesterday, I found an old sock in the bread bin. A used hanky in the library. A half-eaten burger in the sink. You have ghosts. Let's face it. Some of them have been known to prank. Hello. I'm a professional ghost slash terrifying presence. Like I'd waste my time on dirty dishes. We all know it's you, Jimmy. And we've all agreed that you have to clean the castle from top to bottom. Sweeping, dusting and wiping. By the end of today, no excuses. Excuses? <laughs> I live to clean. There's no way he's going to spend a whole day tidying. You want a clean castle? I'll give you a clean castle. That's <laughs> me. Jimmy's a gentleman. He's given his word and I have every faith in him. That's good. Never <laughs> going to happen. Hey, this time I'm serious. There. See? We will see. Hiya. Caitlin? Muddy puddles. You're telling us we're still right, dumb. You took Prince William for a ride around the field again, didn't you? <laughs> he doesn't throw me off deliberately. He just hates anyone riding him. Enjoy seeing you suffer. The worst tempered horse in the world? <laughs> what are you talking about? Wills is a total sweetheart. <laughs> Wills, will you please just... <laughs> Well, it's not his fault. How would you react if no one liked you? Well, we would like him if he wasn't so horrible. Face it, Kate, that horse is a monster. Totally. Definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> the rest of you, I expected this from. But you? Do I make fun of television or fashion or any of your hobbies? I thought you were my best friend. Jimmy try to tidy all this up. <coughs> He'll never catch all that dust with some lame dust here. So let me get this straight. You're going round the whole castle, making the whole thing even more untidy, just to make Jimmy's life harder. Yep, that about sums it up. Okay. <laughs> hey. Look. I'm really sorry we were really hard on Prince William. Oh, come on, Kate. Prince William's not that bad. He has a, a really shiny mane. <laughs> well, that's due to the conditioning treatment I use on him once a week. What happened to your hand? Oh, um, I went out to tell him what everyone said. It did not go well. I wish people could see him like I do. Maybe if more people believed in him, then He'd start to win rosettes instead of bite or kick or throw snot in people's faces. <laughs> I think that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. I mean, there must be a way, right? Like what? Hey, we're best friends. You want the world to see your version of Prince William, and I'm going to make it happen. Somehow. Does he really blow snot in people's faces? <laughs> yeah, but it's not that bad when you learn to keep your hood up and wear a balaclava. <laughs> And after I promised the others, you were as good as your word. Look, I've tried, but I'm just not made for tidying. I'm made for spilling things and playing video games. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy, but we all have to do our bit. Why should you get away with doing nothing? It's not as if it's Christmas or your birthday or something. It is my birthday. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, today, anniversary of my birth. Didn't I mention this before? It isn't. <laughs> is it? And you all forgot. Pour and love me. Allow me, birthday boy. <laughs> Kate, you will never guess what. Well, aren't you going to guess? Why? You said I'd never be able to. Prince William is going to be horse of the week on Bogmore News today. <gasps> well, they told me to get lost when I suggested Prince William be co-host. What did you say to them?
Let Prince William on your programme. Or Pongo gets it. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> no big deal. I used to be a soap opera actress, remember? So I've got a little bit of juice with the media. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Excuse me, Lilies. Hi, go. Hi. When people see Prince William on the telly, they're going to love him just as much as I do. Your horse is finally on the road to redemption. Which makes a change from being in the road, blocking traffic. Oh, there's a journalist coming over later to give you an interview. So, be ready to big up Prince William. No problem. I've got loads of great stories to tell him. Oh, I could tell him about the time when Prince William chased those school kids down the street seven miles. Oh, I could tell him about the time when he ate the gardener's best wig. <laughs> oh, oh, what about the time when it was Prince William's first Jim Carner? You mean when he didn't jump over a single fence and kicked over the cake stall? So he doesn't like cake? He's a healthy eater. Maybe when the journalist gets here, you should concentrate on more positive stories. Those were positive stories. <laughs> Weren't you listening? Well, maybe you should let me give you a spot of media training. Why? She asks the questions, I give her the answers. No problemo. But I could just give you a few tips to help you present Prince William in the best light. Sure, if you think it'd help. Anything to help me spread the news about the best horse in Ireland? By the time I'm finished with you, you'll be so good at giving interviews, Prince William will sound like... Well, like Prince William. Whoops! <laughs> oh, no. Don't worry about it. Jimmy! You can't call poor Jimmy to clean this up. Not on his birthday. Birthday? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe you! You're creating more work for poor Jimmy! Okay. First of all, he deserves it. And second of all, why can't you believe it? This is something I would totally do. Whoa! No one's cleaned in here for a while. Someone should uh, really get on that. Good news. As it's your birthday, Esme and Leo have offered to spend the day attending to your every need. They have? We have. We have. Unless they want me to tell Danny and Caitlin what they've been up to. <laughs> yes. Well played, brother. Well played. Please, take a seat, Master Jimmy. You deserve to be spoiled. I got you this, for starters. A milkshake? Oh, yep. A fruity milkshake with all the fruit strained out and topped up with sugar. Almost no nutritional value whatsoever. One of you paid Jimmy some grapes. Why can't you just eat the grapes with the skin on like normal people? I would, but it's my birthday. <laughs> Refill. Would you like some peanuts with your beverage this time? You know what? Yeah, I would. As me. Peanuts. Chop chop. <laughs> Is it just me or does this whole birthday thing sound a bit convenient? No, it's just you. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Yeah. Caitlin, <laughs> Natasha from Bogmore News. Hello, Natasha from Bogmore News. Uh, lovely to meet you. Take a seat. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my horse. Oh, pleasant creature, is he? Oh, definitely. Uh, super friendly. Although some people don't really like the horse eating at the dinner table. But what do they know? <laughs> yeah, it's probably best to avoid that whole area. OK, we'll do. <laughs> Um, well, Prince William is a very clever horse. Really? Do tell me more. Oh, yeah, um, he goes to school. He goes to school? <laughs> well, he's been caught breaking into the local school more than once. Kate, okay, you can't say that. Why not? He's got a thirst for knowledge. We both know he was aiming for the canteen. Look, please, just don't tell any of these stories. You want Prince William to be loved, don't you? Yeah, well, I've heard all these stories. And I still love him. Why don't you just tell her a nice neutral story that doesn't have any incriminating details? Still don't know what's wrong with any of the other stories, but all right. See, the thing about Prince William is, he's a fantastic friend. He's always there when I need him and there to cheer me up when I'm down. That's perfect. Now, just relax. Lean back. Just act like you don't care. <laughs> uh, I think that might be too relaxed. That must be the reporter. <laughs> Yay! Yay? What, you really think you're ready for this? Well, why not? This is about Prince William, not me. Besides, what are the chances I'd fall off my chair a second time?
Yeah, I've never considered having a beauty routine before. This is well relaxing. Good. Hey, what's going on? What happened to the lovely whale noises? Ah! So, it's your birthday, is it? What star sign are you? Um... What age were you three years ago? <laughs> I know this worked. What right? celebrity shares your birthday? Justin Bieber. No, Carly Rae Jepsen. <laughs> I knew it wasn't your birthday. It's so, I wouldn't lie about something like that. Especially just a guy cleaning the castle. Oops. Please don't tell anyone. Gabe will be really upset. Fine. I'll keep it to myself. On one condition. <laughs> keep juggling. The producers of Living People Do the Funniest Things are going to lap this up. Smile. <laughs> do we really have to bake Jimmy a seven tier super luxe chocolate birthday gato? Yes. I feel terrible for having such a guy in this morning. Why don't you just tell us? Too shy. Jimmy. I mean, too loud, too annoying and too dirty, I understand, but too shy. You know how much it means to him to be living with family at last. How would you feel if we forgot your special day? OK. One super deluxe chocolate birthday gatto coming right up. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Soon, the whole world will see how amazing Prince William really is. And here we are with the owner of Prince William, the self-proclaimed best horse in Ireland. Caitlin, tell us a bit about him. This is my bit. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter which race Prince William enters, because he's always the best one of the bunch. Even though he's never won a single one. He's kind and loving and he's always joking around. But this one time he ate this lady's hat and she was really angry and so she turned around and saw his lovely face. That was Mrs. Boyd for the bakery. She started crying, called him a horse goblin, and then ran away. Well, you know what they say, love is blind. He's worth millions to me. Ever since I found him wandering around in that field, we've been inseparable. <laughs> I can't imagine anybody finding a better horse than my Wills. And with that, it's back to the studio. See, I told you it'd work. Although it is a bit weird that they didn't use more of the stories I told him. I mean, I went on for hours. <sighs> yeah, weird. But everyone can see how much it means to you, and that's the most important thing. Well done, Kate. And well done, Prince William. Yep, him too. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, right, because it's my birthday. I totally know about that. Oh, this is for you. Someone from the village said they want to take Prince William out for a ride. <gasps> Finally, Prince William getting the recognition he deserves. <laughs> Does anyone else think that we're going to have a lot of trampled villagers on our hands? <laughs> Where are you all going? <laughs> I've recorded it. So we can watch it over and over again? Yay! <laughs> and this is the part where the journalist says my name. Best horse in Ireland. Caitlin, tell us a bit about it. You him. know! You showed it to us 50 times already! You know, the best one of the bunch. Please stop. Beg of you. Oh, I'll get it. It'll probably be some fans to see the best horse in Ireland. He's kind and loving and he's always joking around. You're Caitlin, aren't you? Sure am. Oh, fantastic. I couldn't believe it when I saw you on the news. Yeah, I know. Pretty impressive, huh? After Freddie ran off, I didn't think I'd ever see him again. I looked everywhere, and just when I'd given up, there he was. Wait, Freddie? Freddie, my horse. The horse you've been calling Prince William. I'd really like him back, please. I should be clear that I don't usually spend all my time chillaxing. It's just, it is my birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> Everyone's making a pretty big deal of it. Look at you. Your friends must really like you. Yeah, they do right now. I just hope they don't find out anything that may change their opinion of me. Oh, when they find out what I've done, they're going to fling me out. <laughs> ah! <laughs> something tells me you're not being entirely honest about something. It's not really my birthday. <sighs> that felt good to say. I don't believe this. He sat in the library wanting his horse back. What am I going to do? 
Don't worry, Kate, we've got this one. Our mission, should we choose to accept it, and you all will accept it, is to find a way to keep Prince William at Bogmore. What if we don't want to do it? <laughs> okay, question withdrawn. <gasps> there is no way this Joker is Prince William's real owner. We just need to prove it. Actually, um, you see, I didn't exactly pay money for Wills. I sort of just found him. You found him? And you actually kept him? So for all we know, Prince William could be his horse. It was two years ago, and I tried to find the owner, I swear, but I put up posters and nobody ever phoned. I thought nobody wanted him except me. Like maybe he was meant to be my horse. Hey, do you think maybe this could be a good thing? How? We'll think about it. Give Wills to the owner, get a new horse that jumps fences and doesn't bite people. I don't want another horse. I want Prince William. Okay, well that settles it. We fight. We'll do whatever we have to do. The pressure of keeping up the comma's killing me. <laughs> Classic mistake. You gotta leave your guilt at home, buddy. Do you want to know the best way to get away with the con? Um, okay. I hear. You gotta pick the target. Come up with the plan, then really, really go for it. <laughs> you seem to know an awful lot about conning people. What? No, 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 no. Con people. Make a fast, easy book. Me? Never. Whose friend did you say you were? I didn't. Come on, people. We need ideas. Nothing can be too crazy or too stupid. We could hide Prince William so the real owner can't find him. <gasps> I could hypnotise the real owner into thinking he's a toad. <laughs> OK, so you can come up with a few ideas that are too crazy and too stupid. I was thinking more along the lines of getting the police involved or going to court. No problem. If it comes to it, I could trick the police and the judge into thinking they're toads too. The police? Court? No, 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 no way. This is serious, Kate. Well, if Prince William really does belong to that bloke, then we might have to give him back. And I really appreciate all this, but... What if the reason Prince William's so badly behaved is because he's missing his real home? Maybe he's been unhappy at Bogmar all this time. Come on, Prince William loves you. Anyone can see that. <laughs> OK, no one can see that, but that's not a reason to give up. And I'm not. But I love Prince William, and I just want him to be happy. I only want to keep him if he wants to stay. Is it okay if we go and see Freddy now? I've missed him so much. The thought of spending any longer apart. Kate's willing to give you a horse back. No police, no court, you can just take him today. Really? On one condition. That you can prove to me that Prince William loves you. And he wants to go. Well, he's a horse. All he knows is walk, eat and jump. Well, more like stop throwing spit. <laughs> <laughs> if you can show me that Prince William loves you, you win. But if not, we fight. Whatever it takes. Seems like it's up to Prince William then. Lead the way. So we just see who he goes to. Yep. What if he bolts away from you both and makes a run to the sea? What's <laughs> happened before? Contestants, take your places. Just let me see! Wait a second. I don't care who keeps the horse. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Come on, Prince William. Come on, horsey. Come to Daddy. Go to Caitlin, your daft horse. I'm winning. Come on, horsey. Come to Daddy. You can do it. Come on, Prince William. Come on. Boy! No! <coughs> you gotta pick the target. Come up with a plan, then really, 
Really go for it. This is all a bit con. This is it, old friend. Had some good times, haven't we? Like that time he threw me off into the bog. <laughs> and that other time he threw me off into the bog. And then what about that time in the bog where you threw me off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Prince William. <laughs> you, and mate, are gonna make my fortune. We're gonna enter you in every race we can, and we'll win them all. And then we'll hire you out for kiddies' parties, get paid a mint, get a load of free cake. Come on, you daft horse. I'm so sorry, Kate. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Prince William, you haven't let him go, have you? Jimmy, you're too late. Wills really did belong to that man. No, he didn't. You don't understand. Wayne's a crook. What are you talking about? And you're basing this on what exactly? You practically admitted it to me. The guy's a con man. I'm telling you. I know what you're trying to do, Jimmy. But Will's obviously loved Wayne. They were meant to be together. Save me! <laughs> that horse is nuts! You, you said he was the best horse in Ireland, but he is a monster. All that stuff in the interview was guff. Nope, she actually believes all that. I thought I could make a mint from him. Saw you saying you'd found him and took a chance. You are a crook. <gasps> and a cheat. Uh oh, sounds like Will's come back for more. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. No, please help me. I'll do anything. Getting closer. There's one thing that you should know about Wills. When he takes a liking to someone, and by liking she means absolute hatred, he just wants to be with them. All the time. <laughs> Wills! No! <laughs> Get him away from me. Jimmy, please show Wayne off the castle grounds. My pleasure, cuz. Or perhaps Prince William would like that pleasure. I can't believe you didn't tell me there was a real life criminal in the castle. You know how hard they are to scare? It would be a challenge, even for me. So Prince William stays exactly where he belongs. Oh, hang on a minute, you didn't tell us how you managed to find out what Wayne was really up to. <laughs> um, um, well, well I, I, I had a feeling that, you know, he was dodgy. But you told us that you practically admitted it. Did I? Well, yeah, I mean, he must have been pretty stupid just to come out with it. That's true. Now you mention it. Is it hot in here all of a sudden? <laughs> Jimmy, what's going on? Well, Oh, for goodness sake. It isn't really Jimmy's birthday. He lied to get out of cleaning the castle. I'm guessing Wayne only told you a secret because he thought you were a calm man like him. <laughs> Can't believe you, Jimmy. You made us all look like fools. And just to get out of a bit of cleaning. To think, we nearly baked you a cake. Well, what, but if you think about it, I sort of made up for it by helping to save Prince William. Didn't I? You've really let us down. I know. I want to make up to you. Anything. Anything? Anything at all. As long as you guys forgive me. Please? If it makes you feel any better, I don't really care what you did. You know what? For once, that does make me feel better. Thank you, Esme. Okay. You made us look like a fool. So we're going to make you look like a fool. There for some payback. <laughs> Is uh, this really necessary? Yes! I want this castle sparkling by the time you're finished. No corner cutting. You should pay particular attention to the custard in the cutlery drawer. And the gunk in the plug hole. And the unidentified mould in the fridge. <laughs> Look, just before I do this, I want to say I'm sorry I made you all run around after me. 
But it was the best birthday I've ever had. M mainly because I got to spend it with all of you. Real or not. <laughs> Some dust in my eye. And on that note, good luck. What? You mean you're still gonna make me clean it? I think you're gonna need this. Oh. <laughs> Living people really do do the funniest things. Oh, I hate dusting. <laughs>